In October of 2022, he concedes he was the chief deputy. That means he was the number two in charge and he was in an active election. He had survived his primary uh, in May. He was working on the case as part of the unified command at the time that he decided to run for sheriff. He was going to make about $50,000 more if he was elected. Mr. Rosie asked him, did you ever once think about the impact that uh, making an arrest would have to improve your chances of winning the election? Mr. McLeland objects to this. He is outraged. Is counsel suggesting that he would make an arrest to help an election? It's cross-examination for bias. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you get to ask that. Are you suggesting? No, it's, uh, it's we're asking. Has it, did it ever cross your mind? Such a legitimate question. Absolutely legitimate. Ever once, ever once cross your mind, you know, might help me out getting elected if I'm uh, able to arrest the murderer of these young girls for this crime that has traumatized our community. Mr. Uh, Sheriff Liggett, it was only ever about, uh, about two little girls that had been brutally murdered. So Mr. Rosie asks it again. Ever once, just cross your mind. Now the objection is it's been asked and answered. Mr. Rosie, rightfully, in my opinion, points out he didn't answer the question. He didn't answer it. He answered some other question that he wish I had asked, but he didn't answer the question I actually did. Because the answer that I actually did is a yes or no question. Did it ever once cross your mind? Judge says, yeah, he did. It's sustained. Well, I have to infer from that then that his answer is no. No, it never a single time crossed his mind that uh, that would be such a heroic thing for him to do for this community. Mm. Tony, if elected, uh, will the double homicide investigation change? Change in what manner? Any manner. I mean, break the, up, the, move, there are, there are people that work this, as I said before, that is a top priority case for not just me, it's for the entire sheriff's department. It's for the Indiana State Police. It's mostly for the families, the Williams family, the German family. They are what drives us every day. And things are very positive. I'll leave it at that. Things are very positive right now. Nothing would change. We, we bring people in. Uh, we have help. Things are going well. Okay. Mark? If you're elected, um, there's a rumor that you're going to down, downsize or shut down the double homicide. Can you speak to that? <laughs> cool. No, that's fine. I'm that's fine. Saying. Yeah, I, there's there's all kinds of stuff out there. Like I said before, the internet is a is a great place to share information when it's good information. However, no, that's absolutely false. Why would I do that? That's that's nonsense. Uh, it will ramp up. I will tell you that. Like Tony said that nothing will change. Something will change with me. I'm not going to get into it right now because I'm just not going to uh, be the one to give false hope or anything like that to Miss Patty, who's here, that I see. Um, I have also worked on that case. And from the very beginning, I want to be involved the day of. I didn't get there until day four. Had a team that was ready to go. Was told to talk, contact another agency to get to go ahead. We finally did. When elected, I pledged to do everything that I can to make that better. Not that anything's wrong. I won't say that. I won't. I won't bash anyone because that's not me. Everyone knows me, and I'm not that person. But what I will say is it will ramp up. OK. 
Okay, thank you. Um,